everybody. Welcome back to another edition of the EcoStructure Machine Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video, what we're going to see is how we can create a library in the software. So let's go. So in order to create a library, we just need to open a new instance of the Machine Expert. And then instead of selecting the uh, a project to create, we just need to create a library. So as soon as we select the, let me just put the pen, select the new project, we have then the standard view of the selection of the, of the projects or templates. But the second option is about libraries. So here, what we need to do is to basically define the location of where our library is going to be uh, saved. Okay, the project for the library. Then we need to configure these things over here which are basically the title of the project, then the company, the version, and also the namespace. Let's continue with this. So this default namespace that we have is going to be useful in case we select this. So when we want to use, for example, a function block added in our library, for example, function block one, if someone wants to use that function, in their project, what they need to use is to use the, in this case, LTA dot function block one, FB function uh, one. So that is what it meant by this. Now, once we created our library project, uh, the, um, the process is going to be empty without anything in there. So what we need to do is to add in here our library manager so we can start using or add functionalities or not functionalities but the function that allows to create our functions so we just right click over here and then select the library manager so let's go to the software so i can show you this it's much better way so here new project let's wait for it to finish library i'm going to call it training training m2xx company schneider default name space is going to be m2xx and enforce this okay i'm going to save it on training yeah okay And there we go it's created so as you can it's created so as you can see the view is only POUs and these navigators uh classy navigators okay you have POUs we don't have a device to test it here so as soon as you have the POUs what we need to do is to add object library manager it's gonna be this we're gonna change that part add into the application now as you can see if we compare for example with another project that have all this part okay here this one is empty i don't have anything so what we need to do is to add the libraries to make basic operation for example if i want to make a uh, add or subtraction let's try to add and let's see what are the functions or the libraries that use the app just wait for this to finish okay add so add do, 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 add the add add ADM. should have remember the mail library for this but I don't add, add. Yeah, let's try um subtraction so so uh, basic I don't remember the name of the library mm -hmm. some point yeah. Mm 
I think the name is the audio. Let's check. If you have this issue, <laughs> um, you can go here and da, 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 da. browse, go to definition. Ah, because it's internal. Okay, so I believe this one is the util. So right click on the counter. Okay, this one, the standard. So we need to use this one, the standard, and I'm going to use also the util. So this is the tool that we need to add. I totally forgot about it. So standard. Yeah, this one, standard. You can see now we are able to use the pitch tables, the counters, and the timers. Now they use the other one, util. Okay, and you have a lot of things here. Okay, three uh, conversions. Okay, this is what I want to add. Perfect. Mathematical functions. Okay, good. So let's start with these two so let's go back here this is what you can add in the library manager and then oh it was here this <laughs> so add library and then on the empty the standard I added and this one the toolbox se underscore tbx so the information was here se underscore tbx uh, toolbox yeah let's wait for it to load it's loading uh, toolbox <laughs> it's loading and you cannot see it but it's loading here in the bottom you should be able to see how the level is loading there we go okay they have the conversions and uh, the control close loop pad bit function utilities visualization control. okay so this is what we need so let's we already have these two okay now that we have this we have this icon this will allow us to directly import our library into this um, into the software okay and then what we need to do is to call it in another in in another application so let's try to do this so create the library add the library manager and the standard uh, we are not going to say this part okay let's create a function first so let's see if we can Okay, uh, we have created a function here. No, we haven't. Okay, wow. Let me see if I have something here. Um, okay, I have this function. I don't remember what it does, but uh, let's copy this function. I believe it's working because there is no issue. So I'm going to paste it over here. So I'm going to create folder uh, functions. And inside here, I'm going to paste this function I have here, okay? So you can see they have inputs and the result because this one is a FC function. Now, if I save the library, okay, and press this one, it will directly install this into our library repository. So, if we go now to this project, the training project, and if I want to use on the library manager the function from the other library, which has add library, because it's already added, that's why 
we haven't exported doing anything here i should be able to find uh here training m2xx which is the name that we have for our library so here i also name it schneider i shouldn't do that I should put something else but there we go as you can see here i have all the folder function fc fg uh real so in order to use this as i already um chance as i already wanted to use these uh, the namespace so i need to use m to to no m x x dot um it will appear all the libraries internal that, that we have uh fb what was the name <laughs> fc okay so m2 xx dot fc average real okay and you have it over here okay and this icon is because the original one that i copy from here it has the bitmap okay that's why it has this but this is how you can import the library okay this is proper when you work in the same environment okay what we're going to see later is what happens if i need to share to another computer our library if we open from here we should be able to see the code which is not fine when you want to export this okay because they can see your uh your code it's not idea if you create a library okay that's why i don't usually use this functionality okay and i always export the library but i'm going to we are going to see that later so let's see if i don't forget about anything say the portion is turning to every plus three good we haven't done this part we have already opened my other project installed the library okay and uh, what happened if we double click the function we already seen that part that it will see the code because it's using the library post the installation on the library repository directly in the software um, to avoid this we're going to see that on the next one so um da -da -da -da. yes this is what i meant so in order to avoid that part okay what we can do is to save as a compile library so we share the compile library and install that compile library in our system in order to avoid that part so mm, this is it for how you can create a library in machine expert okay i know this is just too much information quickly but the idea is for you is to create the library and then create all the function libraries that you need for your application or for your machine but it's important that you before start doing your code add the libraries otherwise even if you create the code the system will not recognize the function that you need in order to make it work so that's the important thing so this is it for the library how to create it thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one Thank you.